friends my name is dr bhargav majumdar associate professor in civil engineering department and sub engineering college gokul global university friends we know that gokul global university is situated in sitpur district part of gujarat and one of the constituent college and sub engineering college running diploma courses degree courses ME courses and now today on this year we start PhD program also in diploma courses we are running five diploma courses namely electrical mechanical civil computer and automobile in degree program we are running major discipline like uh, civil engineering electrical engineering computer engineering and mechanical engineering we are running a uh, 6 pg program namely uh, structural engineering pg in computer engineering pg in computer engineering specialization in cloud computing and specialization in data science pg in electrical engineering and pg in mechanical engineering with specialization in thermal engineering and this year we are starting phd program in all four major discipline of the engineering like uh, civil engineering computer engineering electrical engineering and uh, mechanical engineering hansaba college of engineering and technology always try to deliver some extra knowledge to the students so that our students uh, get benefit and uh, they know what is due in the uh, current field in his field or in her field in this contest we are starting expert program lecture series in this extra program lecture series today uh, i deliver some knowledge about the dam especially ardhan dam friends we know that in civil engineering dam is a major hydraulic structure we know that why we construct dam we construct dam to retain the water so that that water can be utilized for irrigation purpose for drinking purpose and to satisfy the water demand for industry so there are so many purposes behind the construction of dam since so that we start with earthen dam now what is earthen dam friends earthen dam or embankment dam as defined earlier is one of the that is built of natural water in its simplest and oldest form the embankment dam was constructed with low permeability soils to a normally homogeneous profile homogeneous profile means we are using same material but natural material our natural material means sand grey walls right these are these natural materials an embankment dam whether made of earth completely or rock it filled with earth core as a trapezoidal shape with the shoulder slopes decided from the point of stability against the various possible modes of failure now when we design any dam it is must which type of shape is adopted preferable in earthen dam we have preferably prefer shape is trapezoidal and upstream side and downstream side slope is very much important because there are various possible modes of failure right we are at presently we are not uh, going into detail about the uh, various possible of failure now right now we try to understand that what is earthen dam what are different types of earthen dam and which material can be used for the earthen dam right this is the typical uh, pictorial 
photograph of the other dam. Friend, this is earthen dam. Earth dam means made up with the soil. This is our upstream side in which the water is retained. This is downstream side, right? This is spillway, this is other related work with the dam. This is the typical uh, shape of the other dam, trapezoidal shape, preferably we uh, prefer trapezoidal shape. And in earthen dam, the slope is very much important. This is upstream slope. This is downstream slope. This is upstream side where the water is re retained. It is known as reservoir. And we have to maintain some gap. We cannot uh, fill the water. We cannot fill the water up to this level because there is a chance is over overtaping. If the water is spilled out of, from this area that there is a severe chance of failure. So, we maintain some space that is known as free pond, right? This is the typical cross section of earthen dam, friends. Let's see, let's try to understand Upstream slope, it is already told. Downstream slope, toe drain. Toe drain. This is toe drain, where the seepage water is easily drained out. This is the core. It, this is the very important part of dam. This is the crest width where we can use for uh, passage. Right? This is free board. And this is upstream side of blanket, right? So these are the basic component of earth dam: free board, upstream, downstream side. This uh, upstream slope, downstream slope, this drain area, this is filter. Why all? What is the importance of this uh, filter and uh, this uh, transition filter? and this protection, reprep protection, we learn on next time. But first, see friends, this is the typical cross section of earth dam. An earth dam consists of three basic components. Right? First is foundation, where it raised. Second is core, that is membrane. This is the heart of earth dam. Shale transistor filter, internal drain, and tow drain. These are the basic component of earth dam. First is friend foundation. It consists of either earth or rock and provide a support for the embankment and resist both vertical and horizontal loads. It also resists under sea page where the water is coming through this uh, earth dam that is known as a sea page. Sea page on the flow of water beneath the earth, earth dam. So, foundation it's a support to resist the vertical load as well as horizontal. So this is very important foundation. Next. Core or membrane. It holds back the free water 
of the dam reservoir it is located either at the center or upstream from the center of the dam in case of rock fill dam rock fill dam means we use rock for construction of dam that is known as a rock fill dam so in case of rock fill dam the core is provided on the upstream upstream face this is upstream face this is downstream face right so to raise this why we provide the core it may desire to resist the upstream seepage upstream seepage means the water is entering through this point and going and going toward this point so to resist the seepage upstream seepage because in upstream side there is a water in downstream side there is no water so there is no chances of any seepage issue so seepage always comes on the upstream side right so to resist the to resist the under seepage the core is extended down into the foundation deep and impervious level of sufficient thickness is reached the extension of the core into the foundation is term as cut off which term as cut off means to cut down the seepage right this is very important detail we we'll later on learn core is the second important part of a dam shale this is shale friends this is known as a shale what is shale it provides structural support structural support for the core for the core and disturbs the load over the foundation there are so many disturbances occur there are so many loads uh, on the dam this is hydraulic loads water pressure wind load is there wave pressure is there sometimes earthquake uh, pressure is there so this core area should be stable so to provide the additional support to this core area shale is constructed the dam which are constructed of the same material are called homogeneous dam if we use one material same material for construction of dam so it is known as homogeneous dam small dams can suitably be constructed as homogeneous dam if the sufficient uh, material is available and that material should be suitable to construction of dam specifically earth dam so it is a uh, very good option for construction of small dam right for big dam you have to go for heterogeneous material means we have to we have to choose so many materials to construct the big dam because at big dam stability is the main criteria of course in small dam stability is there but in big dam it is create more, uh, tremendous issue right the shale shale it's to provide the additional support to this core fourth is transition filter in core dams a transition filter this is transition filter between the core and shale this this is known as transitional filter why we provide transition filter friends generally provided to prevent to prevent the migration of the fine grain core material into the pores of the coarse grain shale materials migration to provide the stability right this core is made up with the earth material or some other material right so the material used to construct the core it should be stable form 
the material should be in stable form it should be in its defined position if some position is changes there is a chances of cracking right that is its chances of un unsuitability right so for that we provide one additional filter that is known as a transition filter in case of difference in particle size of the material of the core and the shell is small the transition filter is omitted but in the case of clay cover and rock or gravel shell a transition filter is necessarily provided right so this is the importance of the transitional filter internal drain this is one of the important uh, component of as a tap an internal drain is provided on the downstream side of the dam this is my downstream side this is called as a transition side in that we provide the internal drain why we provide internal drain to carry out or to carry away the seepage through the core and cut off and also to prevent the saturation of the upper part of the downstream shell by rain of the dam so this is the very important uh, function of this drain and finally stored drain stored drain is provided at the downstream face of the shell this is my shell area friends right this is filter this is totally shell area on this area we provide the stored drain on downstream side the reprep of grant grating is provided to cover the upstream face to prevent the erosion or wash by the waves this is very important right so up to this uh we just stop this uh, session next time we learn more something about the earth dam so today we learned about the earth dam and what are its major components okay friends if you have any question please ask me or you just call me or you just email me thank you very much